What's up, YouTube? Uh, today we have uh, 2011 uh, Honda Odyssey, and uh, whatever you're gonna see today in this video is gonna apply for most Honda. So for this model is uh, Kane 37A820RV0A55. That's for 2011 uh, Honda Odyssey. The light for the indicator for bark and reverse and uh, neutral and drive uh, in the dashboard was not light up so when you shift the transmission between run and drive and reverse it doesn't light up at all so what i find out is it's gonna be a quick fix this coil right here it will i just soldered and i just soldered this uh, this two side over here and over here just only this side so i'm not sure if you can see I've, if you can see the the number i will zoom up and i'll try to clean it if uh, if it has a number but that's the only coil that I, I can see over here in the in the in the circuit board so uh let me clean it up very quick and see if we can if we can get the number of it so uh we're gonna use acetone like a nail removal or something and with Yeah, we can do remove it and clean it a little bit. It does not have a number. So anyway, so that's all the coils that you can see in the in the in the motherboard. This one right here. So if you have any issue with the indicator for the drive and transmission position in the dashboard, in the cluster, that's gonna be the issue. So, and let me zoom, zoom it a little bit. There you go. That's the one. This one right here. This one right here, all right? So make sure any, any Honda is gonna have this coil with a transmission indicator in the dashboard that's all the issue with it so this coil it was a quick fix it doesn't even take maybe 10 minutes or i have to wait for the solder to heat up this one right here all right so even if you can you can do a quick test with a with a clip first to see if you have a continuity or not you can use the clip or you know the the micro one or the small one even you can do it in circuit this one right here i don't know if you can see it or not this one so it's good to have this uh, little micro clip in order to do your job and uh, next time we have uh, some uh, airbag module we're gonna do it and also we're gonna go ahead and fix uh, one of, of uh, Allen Bradley uh, communication uh, interface does not communicating for the DH plus and the DH plus RIO for the remote IO that uh, it gets in the rack. So hopefully I can do a, a quick video next time how uh, to troubleshoot the RIO. And uh, if you do a re board repair, it doesn't matter what you're gonna have. So uh, you can have a bunch of different stuff and you can still can fix it. So the radio we're gonna do it next time. Hopefully I can have time to do the video. And I have all, also the circles interface. So the circles was not, uh, it does have like uh, uh, fiber optics uh, issues. The light doesn't come up. So we're gonna go ahead and troubleshoot it and fix it. And should be easy. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. And hopefully this uh, video will help. I'll try to install this in the vehicle and I will show you a picture after installation. Thank you. Okay guys, so after replacing the ECU and uh, after we fixing the little coil that was uh, perhaps to see the light shifting between bark and, and uh, reverse and neutral. So let's, look at, let's turn the car on after the installation. You see the red light now by the, by the bark sign now if I go reverse, it's gonna be green. 
as you can see right here all right so and red and d and rear all this light never come up until we fix this uh, the little coil that i showed you before in the acu so if you have this issue just go ahead <clears throat> make sure you have a good solder otherwise they, re they replace the whole ecu if you want or you can replace the board the, the ecu for this honda is not too much it's around 60 to 65 dollars or 70 bucks all right guys uh, see you in the next video it was a quick fix and uh, thank you for watching